it's a northbound in front of Farmers Plaza. There's been quite a big accident here. Apparently the bus on the left was being towed and then what I'm told is he got in some kind of argument with another bus. Uh, allegedly someone hit his mirror and then they kind of fought each other and then the result is that the tow truck has ended up passing through here. He smashed into this yellow bus and uh, this bus here on the left is smashed into the pillar. It's absolutely incredible. So much damage. I haven't yet been able to ask about the passengers. I assume there was no one on this pink one because it was being towed. But I don't know about this uh, yellow one. There might have been passengers on board. I literally just arrived. I rode an Ancas and amazingly, he said, no, you don't have to pay. Don't worry about it. I support what you're doing, which was amazing. That's the first time it's ever happened and I really appreciate it. I'm using a different camera right now, so I'm not sure how good the audio is. I'm not sure how good the video is, but hopefully we'll get something usable. So I'm told there were passengers on this yellow bus, but no injuries reported. So that's a miracle by itself. Another tow truck has come in and uh, I guess they'll be trying to take these buses away because it's Friday night, it's around 9 p.m. And uh, of course it's going to cause a lot of traffic because there's multiple lanes blocked here. You've got one over there, you've got the one here for the buses, then the one there for the buses. HPG's just arrived, PMP. In fact, something I've just noticed is look at the tow bar. It's completely bent. That is incredible. That's a heavy, heavy tow bar and it's completely bent out of shape. Of course, all of these railings are also damaged, so that all has to be fixed and removed. You'll see the MMDA have used two big bikes to block off the road just to make sure no one comes along while they're trying to recover those vehicles. So I just spoke to more enforcers and they confirmed the same story that allegedly a bus cut in front of the uh, tow truck. Apparently they were having some kind of argument and uh, the tow truck ended up swerving over and this is the disaster that's happened as a consequence. And yes, another tow truck has been brought in just to provide any assistance that might be required. They're telling him to pull in front of the first one. he's trying to push back now but I don't know if he's gonna have enough power it's a reasonable size tow truck but it's a pretty hefty bus and he's really wedged up against that post in fact something that I only just realized is that the tow truck is Pasqual liner and the bus is also Pasqual liner so I guess they are associated sorry I didn't notice it earlier uh, I am kind of shouting at the camera right now because I've never used this camera before I just borrowed it it's a DJI Osmo Plus and I'm not sure how good the audio is, the built-in audio, so I'm kind of raising my voice. There's a guy doing something under the bus, but I'm not exactly sure what it is. Perhaps it's something to do with the brakes. They're managing to push it back now. You see the MMDA rescue truck just arrived, although I'm not sure if it'll be needed because there's a lot of tow trucks here and no injuries, but they are on scene. So the next one to come back is the bigger tow truck. I think they're going to try and reverse that out. Maybe they should have had the MMDA rescue guys remove these fence panels. And they're now hooking up a tow bar to this tow truck to tow it away with this tow truck. So, towception. And the floor, by the way, is covered in oil or I don't know what it is. It could be gasoline or diesel, but uh, it's very slippery. The damage to the yellow bus seems to be minimal, just some body damage. So maybe it won't be too expensive to repair. But uh, this tow truck, it took a pretty hefty hit. driving the tow truck in uh, slippers probably doesn't help. They're going to try and remove some of that fencing now uh, because it's wibbly wobbly and it's going to cause another accident.
they're not exactly equipped for it to be honest uh, okay so they managed to break off at least one piece of fence obviously this needs to be fixed properly but for now they just need to make it safe and uh, allow vehicles to pass if possible safety first but also consider the traffic one of the enforcers also managed to find some wire so they're tying that in place they just want to make sure that it's not going to spring back and hit any passing vehicles Come on, Mr. Bus Driver, can you just wait like two minutes just so people can safely come out of the road? And here goes that tow truck now. So that's all lanes unobstructed. Temporary fix to the fence. Uh, you'll see a lot of it is now missing. There's still a lot of uh, oil or gasoline or diesel or something on the floor. There's still a lot of broken glass also, but it is safety glass. Um, I don't know if that makes things a lot better. I guess it makes things a little bit better. And uh, well, MMDA will have to come in and do a proper cleanup. But for now, everything's open again.